Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on Best Buy and Proportion. Question number four with me, Mr. Barton. Right, what's happening here? When a ball is dropped, the distance it drops, D, is directly proportional, that's going to be important, to the square of its time. Find an expression, oh, I'm sorry, it is found that a ball takes one second to drop 4.9 meters. Find an expression of D in terms of T. Right, let's go to our routine. D, proportional to, no, it's direct proportion, so I don't need a one over, the square of its time. So that's going to be T squared, the square of its time. Let's write that as an equation. I don't know why I'm putting the G there. D equals KT squared. Done. A little box around that. I'm going to be using that later on. Um, it is found that the ball takes one second. So that's my time. So that's going to be my T. To drop 4.9 meters, that's going to be my D, my distance. Okay. So 4.9 meters is going to be equal to K lots of my time. That's 1 squared. Let's rearrange that. Divide both sides by my 1 squared, otherwise known as 1. 1 squared is. So I just get 4.9 divided by 1 squared, which is going to be give me k. So I think that's just going to give me k equals 4.9 divided by 1 squared is 4.9 divided by 1, otherwise known as 4.9. So let's write it as an expression, because I want d in terms of t. I need d equals. So d is going to be equal to k, which is 4.9 lots of t squared and there is my lovely equation and now I can use that equation to help me work out anything so let's have a look at this I want the what the distance is when the time is two seconds so let's have a look d is going to be equal to 4.9 lots of t squared in this case t is 2 so d is going to be equal to 4.9 times 2 squared let's get the calculator out for this one hopefully you can see that is that not too bad there so we have 4.9 times by 2 squared. 2 squared is going to be 4. And we're going to end up with, might have to hit my SD button there, going to get 19.6 is going to come out there. 19.6. 19.6. There we go. And now we've got to work the other way around. So this time we get a distance of 28.2. And that's going to be equal to 4.9 T squared. And we've got to figure out what t is this time. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4.9. So I'm going to get myself a 28.2 divided by 4.9. And that's going to, oh, fucking heck, have I typed that in right? Let's have a look at that again. That came out a bit dodgy. Let's try that again. 28.2 divided by 4.9. That has, oh, that has come out dodgy. Flipping heck. It's come out an absolutely horrendous fraction. Where's that gone there? I've got there 282 over 49 equals t squared. I don't think this is going to be too nice. And then if I square root both sides, I'm going to get t equals. Now I'm going to leave it on my calculator because it's already sat nicely in my calculator. So I'm going to square root my answer on the calculator, press equals, and I'm getting an absolute horrendous number. 2.3989 dot dot dot. Let's put that in there. 2.3989 dot dot dot. Well, that's not come out too flipping nice, but there you go. And let's just check that actually makes mathematical sense. So it's directly proportional to, so as they go up, as t goes up, we'd expect distance to go up. Yep, that seems to be true. Look there, the time taken has doubled and the distance has gone up four times, so that fits in with the squared. And then, yeah, I guess this does make sense because the time has gone up there by a little-ish amount, and relative to that, I guess the distance has gone up by a little-ish amount as well. It's not, it's not doubled by any sense of the imagination. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Slightly weird number, though. But anyway, we move on.